What's good, Commanders fans? Left hand up. That's how you expose the Eagles, man. And I just heard the locker room. They're playing Meek Mill right now. Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. They're going crazy in the locker room. They turn it up right now, man. That's that's how you win a football game, man. It was ugly. It was a goofy win. Taylor Heineke, heads up play, taking a knee and then getting hit. Uh, Casey Tuhill recovering the fumble, hitting the gritty. A.J. Brown, one catch for seven yards. Terry McLaurin cooking Darius Slay all game, all game. Undefeated no more, we expose the Eagles. Undefeated no more. Expose the Eagles 32-21, man. Um, sometimes it's just better to be – I don't call it lucky anymore. I just call it fortunate. Sometimes it's just better to be fortunate than um, than, than, <laughs> than good sometimes. Um, and we were very fortunate tonight, man. Um, heads up play by John Ridgway. We did get away with a face mask. But, hey, it is what it is. You know, we got gypped on a call. The Ben St. Juice penalty, that flag, I thought that was an awful call. Then the refs did a makeup call. Uh, calling offensive uh, pass interference on Jahan Dotson, um, but this this was a roller coaster ride, man. This was a roller coaster game. I feel like we definitely could have put this game away multiple times, but Taylor Heineke threw that lollipop interception, um, and the defense just made a big play. Like, yes, they did get away with a face mask, but it is what it is on that part. Um, and, and, and I, I, I got to give a shout out to the to the coaches somewhat. I thought they they had a good game plan, playing keep away from Jalen Hurts dominating the ball, 40 minutes of possession. The Eagles only had 19. Ben St. Juiced. Ben St. Juice. How did, that's that's a way that you never give up on a play. That's the way to never give up on a play. You got beat by Quez Watkins, but he gets right back up and punches the ball out, forces a fumble, and Derek Forrest, he just has a knack for getting turnovers and being around the football. The, the takeaway from A.J. Brown, A.J. Brown didn't want that ball. Derek Forrest said, give me that. He said, give me, that. Give me your cookies. We went to Philly's house. We took the cookies, took a Philly cheesesteak, ate it in front of their face, in their house. In their house, we took their cookies. In Philly. That's what I'm talking about. Undefeated no more, we exposed the Eagles. We went in there with the game plan. I said, hey, look, they can't stop the run. Brian Robinson, 84 yards. Gibson, 44 yards. We went in there with a game plan to run the football. I thought we should have ran the ball more, but it is what it is. I'll take on that. Heineke, I thought he made some big plays, too. He had a terrible play at the end. But the pass to Terry to set up the touchdown, that was a beautiful pass on Slay. Um, he made a couple passes to Terry that were really good. Terry had a heck of a day. Have a day, have a day, Terry McCoy. Have a, have a darn day, Terry McCoy. Um, eight catches for 128 yards. This guy is the eagle killer. He is the eagle killer for sure. Curtis Samuel, he had a couple good runs out there too. Uh, forced that penalty on uh, C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Um, and yes, that penalty, you cannot hit the guy. You When Taylor Heineke took that knee, you can't hit the player because he's a defensive player. You can't hit him while he's on the ground. He's already on the ground. Taylor Heineke, he's just a heads-up player. Even, even on the play where it was a bad snap from Tyler Larson, Taylor Heineke, he could have just fell on the ball in that second quarter. He got up and just threw it away. It was almost intentional grounding. But, hey, Taylor Heineke, he had a heads-up play, not, not letting it be like a 20-yard loss. He just made it into a regular incompletion. So, Joey Sly, man, Sly guy. I got to give credit to him, too, man. He made some big kicks out there, man. He made a 58-yarder. I don't know why the Eagles did not take that penalty on um what it, was it what was the penalty that we had uh, I think it was intentional grounding and they just didn't take the penalty and it was a 58 yard field goal it could have been like a 63 yard or something like that if they would have taken the five yard penalty or we would have just punted the ball but they didn't take the penalty so that's on Nick Sirianni that's on him he uh, Ron Rivera actually out coached somebody tonight he actually out coached somebody tonight I'll give him some credit. I thought he got the guys ready for all the turmoil that's going on, all the Dan Snyder news, all the, you know, Dan Snyder and the um, the, the district attorney, that news last week, all the news that came before this game. And we won a Monday night football game. We won a Monday night football game. We barely win Monday night football games. We went in there and won a Monday night football game. And we put up 32 points. We never put up 30 points. We averaged like 17 points a game. So, um, but Heineke, man, he just, he just has that magic to him, man. He, he seriously does. He just has that luck to him. And I, I think he should start moving forward, man. It is what it is. I think he should just start. I think the the, the locker room just rallies behind him. Um, I, I feel like it's like a Nick Foles kind of thing with Carson Wentz, where the, the the team just rallies behind him. You know, they love him. They pick up the energy. Everybody everybody plays harder. Everybody plays with more energy under Taylor. His energy is it's just contagious. It's contagious. And other guys step up, and it, we just we just get more fortunate. He's a mobile quarterback. He's a guy that can run behind our offensive line. Um, now, Charles Lando, he got beat like a drum. 
but we responded. That's the thing. We got punched in the mouth and we re we responded. It wasn't like the last game in week three where the Eagles beat us 24 to six or whatever, 24 to eight. We responded. And that was the difference in this game. We responded because last time we played them, we got punched in the mouth. We had no answer. We just laid down. But this game, we stepped back up, ran the football down their throats, had two big drives. That's why I got to give a little bit of credit to Scott Turner. Two big drives back to back to score the football and get it to 14. It was a 14, 14 10. And then we went up 17 to 14, 20 to 14 at the half. Um, the Eagles never trailed in the second half until this game. And we held them scoreless in the second quarter as well. So, I mean, the guys, they played, they played a complete game. Like I said, we were fortunate at times, but we can, we played a complete game. So let's get to the stats here and to the numbers. Uh, Heineke, 17 for 29, 211 yards, no touchdowns, but a pick. Um, the numbers don't wow you. Price picks, I had um, the over-under was like 208 yards, and he barely went over. So I got that wrong on price picks. My picks now, Antonio Gibson, the under-over was like 25 rushing yards. I, I He beat that easily with 44 rushing yards and a touchdown. And the carries were like eight carries. He easily beat that with 14. Uh, like I said, McLaurin, eight catches, 128 yards. Now, De'Ami Brown had a huge catch, man, to set up the field goal. I got to give credit to De'Ami Brown for that catch, man, uh, because he got right under the football and caught it. Now, in the first quarter, Jack stole from the Eagles. That was not a catch. That was not a catch. If anybody saw that, definitely comment below because he, he came down with the ball and the ball popped out. That's not a catch. You got to come down and corral the ball and finish the play. So the refs were bad on both sides. So I'm not going to say we won because of the refs. I know a lot of Eagles fans are going to complain and come up with excuses. But it, it was it was bad on both sides. It was. It really was. Um, Jahan Dyson had a catch for 14 yards. That set up a touchdown. So his presence was felt a little bit out there too. Um, you know, just them having to cover him, just the weapons that we have, it opened up place for Terry McLaurin because you can't double Terry. You got to guard Curtis. You got to you gotta guard Jahan. So those are three weapons that we have with speed out there. Um A.J. Brown, we had him held on to one catch for seven yards. I, just, I didn't see him showboating out there. You saw what he did to the Steelers where he was pointing at corners. I thought Ben St. Juice was solid for the most part. Kendall Fuller had a bounce back game for sure. He played a lot better. Uh, broke up a pass on Devontae Smith. Um, but, yeah, let's let's get to my notes here, and then we'll get to the stats. Actually, let me let me finish with the stats here real quick. So I want to see. So third down conversions was huge, man. 12 for 21 on third downs. Now, it was 50%, which is, which is better <coughs> excuse me, than what we've done. Uh, Taylor Heine, he made some big plays on third down. We did make some big conversions. Uh, Gibson, Robinson, Curtis Samuel with a reverse on fourth down. Um, we had a penalty on the first time we tried to go for it on fourth down. We had to delay a game. Some people were saying it was on Heineke. Some people were saying it was on Ron. Just, you know, they should have called a timeout. They botched that play, and then we just ended up kicking the field goal. I thought we should have just kicked the field goal anyway, regardless on that play, to be honest with you. Um, the Eagles were five for eight on third downs. They barely had the football anyway. Um, they do have a high-powered offense. They are very explosive. They score very quickly on all of their drives. They score very quickly. Um, rushing yards, we had, we had 152. We held it to 94 rushing yards. Um, the big thing was just time of possession, and we won the turnover battle. That's how you upset teams. You gotta. That's, that's how you upset undefeated. We were 11-point underdogs. We were 11-point dogs. 11-point dogs. NFL Network, nobody picked us to win. Nobody. I'm not going to lie. I didn't pick us to win either. But nobody picked us to win. Uh, penalties, we had five. They had seven. Um, turnovers, we had two, they had four. So we won the turnover battle and we won the time of possession, just playing ugly football, keep away from Jalen Hurts. That's the formula. That, that's what we did when we had that four game winning streak last year. And that's the formula. How are you going to win games with Taylor Heineke? Is it sustainable? Who knows? The next two opponents we got, the Houston Texans, who were like one, seven and one, the Falcons who just got blown out by the Panthers, two winnable games back to back. And we are five and five. We are in the hunt for the NFC wild card right now, for sure. Uh, so time of possession, man, that's why we won this game. Time of possession, uh, converting on third downs and, and winning the turnover battle, man. Derek Forrest hit, made some big plays. Um, he, he stood out. Ben St. Juice made some big plays. Casey Tua with that fumble that fumble six, pick six, and hitting the gritty at the end. That was a huge play as well. So I'm going to go over my notes here, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, Trash Way got hit. They called a rough on the kicker. Charles Lando gave up a sack on like the next play, which was just awful. Uh, basically let Josh Sweat run right by him. But he did a better job throughout the game. Uh, Heineke underthrew Curtis Samuel on third down. I thought they could have called a flag on that, but they did not. I thought they could have called a penalty. It was basically the same play with Ben St. Juice and uh, Devontae Smith, but they didn't call a, a penalty, so it is what it is on that. Um, the delay of game, I already talked about that. The botch snap by Tarver Larson, I already talked about that. The fourth and one conversion by Curtis Samuel, talked about that already. Terry McLaurin was just balling. He was cooking Darius Slay. Like, there was nothing Darius Slay could do with Terry. Like, he, he, was, sunning, he was sunning Darius Slay all night. Um, Brian Robinson, that tough touchdown, man, where he carried two guys. He carried Fletcher Cox, and it was somebody else. I can't remember, 
but he manhandled him. He manhandled him. He big boyed him into the end zone, man. To come back from being shot, they talked about that on the broadcast on NBA football. Brian Robinson, he's a dog, man. He's a tough guy. He's a dog. Fifty cent. Um, Joey Sly, fifty eight yard field goal. I mean, he he made some big kicks, man. Sly guy, I gotta give, I gotta give him his credit for sure. Uh, Kendall Fuller made a big third down stop. Um, Taylor Heineke got sacked and we had to settle for a field goal. I thought Antonio Gibson was wide open in the flats in the red zone where we were moving football. Um, Curtis Henry had a nice reverse run play and there was a penalty after by CJ Gardner Johnson with the helmet to helmet hit. Um, third and three, Heineke threw up that terrible interception into double coverage for Terry McLaurin over Dar Darius Slay. CJ Gardner Johnson got the interception. Um, I just think. That was such an unnecessary throw by Heineke, and it, it really, it really brought up bad memories from the Vikings game. It really did. I was like, man, are we watching the same game? We're up by ten points or nine points in the fourth quarter with ten minutes to go. How can we mess this up? How can we mess this up? And I was like, here we go again. Next thing you know, next play, we get fortunate with a no, with not with no face mask being called. Ridgeway stepping up and punching the ball out. Jamin Davis uh, with a tackle as well. Um, the Eagles had an ineligible man down the field penalty. Oh no, we had an eligible minute. We had an eligible man down down the field penalty. It was declined by the Eagles. That's where Sly hit the fifty eight yard field. That's where Nick Sirianni messed up there. So the offensive pass interference on Jahan Dotson that was egregious. That was such an awful. That was such an awful call um, by the refs there. I think it was a makeup call by for the face mask. Then the Ben St. Juice forced fumble happened. And Derek Forrest had a fumble recover. Recovery. Montez Sweat had a huge sack. He had a huge sack in the fourth quarter. That's what we need to see from him. Him getting home. Um, he plays well against the Eagles, man. He does. He plays really well against the Eagles. He's another Eagle killer. John Allen, John Allen was getting pressures back there. He played well uh, for the most part. Um, Dax Miller had his best return the whole game. And then Taylor Heineke, Heineke uh, taking that knee to finish the game. And he was talking trash and telling the Eagles fans to be quiet. So I love that from Taylor, man. Um, like I said, it's not going to be pretty. But Taylor, man, I think he has a winning record as a commander's quarterback, to be honest with you. Not a lot of not a lot of quarter, commander's quarterbacks, their time here can say that they have a winning record. So, man, look, left hand high, who are we? But um, we play the Texans next, and we play the uh, Falcons next. I, I want to see the standings here before I wrap it up, man. I, I really should go live and turn over y'all, but I'm, I'm going to definitely make a video tomorrow for sure, and then I'm going to be on um, Real Robinson's channel tomorrow. It should be a lot of fun, uh, so check that out. We're going to be on there at, at 9 o'clock. Um, me, Street Scores, and... Um, and, and Louie, so it, it should be a lot of fun. It should be a blast for sure. So I'm going to be on there for about an hour, chopping it up with the guys, enjoying this win, man, soaking this win up. So we're the eighth seed right now. We're behind the San Francisco 49ers. It was a great week. The, the Cowboys lost. We beat the Eagles. Just a great week all, in all for, for the NFC East. Just a great week for the Commanders, 110%. So um, the Niners are the seventh seed right now, 5-4. Five and four. We're 5-5. Five and five. We are the eighth seed. So we are one game we're, we're a half a game behind them right now. We're a half a game behind the Niners for that seventh spot. Like I said, I would just ride it out with Heineke, man. I would just ride it out with Heineke, man. Like I said, he he's what we need behind this offensive line, behind this makeshift offensive line. We need a mobile quarterback behind him, um, and that, that and that's what we need. He makes plays, he extends plays, and, and Carson Wentz, you know, he he's just he's just a statue back there. So I, I would go with Heineke. I know Heineke makes some boneheaded mistakes. He's gonna make some terrible turnovers at the end of the game. I I, I understand that sometimes. He does pull a rabbit out of his hat, though. The Colts game he did, the, the Packers game he did. Um, he did a couple a couple of times last year. So, um, But I think for this team, what we need, running the football, a mobile quarterback behind this offensive line, we just don't need a statue back there. And we keep our draft pick. So you guys let me know what you guys think, man. Big win, man. Big win. Huge win in Philly. Huge win in Philly. Undefeated no more. Underdogs, man. That's what I'm talking about. Underdogs. That's what I'm talking about. We went in there and got that dub, man. Health of the Manders, y'all. Peace.